Hi, so Ben Simpson's workflow with Snapseed was for a specific use of the Theta Z1 to take some high-end shots. So in his case, he's using a dual fisheye plugin to take multiple D&D &D shots of the same image, of the same scene. Then he stacks them together. This will give you more white information than is available even in a D&D &D shot. In that circumstance, the photographer is probably using a uh, mobile phone with the dual fisheye plugin remote application and maybe taking the shot from a, from a distance. In that case, you cannot use the time shift plugin with the Z1. So in most cases, if you're not trying to take this type of high end shot, you can simply use the time shift plugin with HDR on the Z1 and you'll get quite good shots for your virtual tours. However, if you are taking some specialized shots where you want a, a lot of light information into the shot, so this might be, you're taking it at night, this might be a situation where you want the dark corner of a room and there is bright light coming in through a window and you can compensate it for HDR. So in specialized shot situations, you do have to use the Do a Fish Eye plugin and you might use a mobile app to connect to the camera and take the shot. So in that case, you may have to walk away from the camera, right? And what we're seeing on the forums or online is that this tripod can be uh, unsteady in wind or on uneven surface. The thing falls over and you break the lens and you've just lost a thousand dollar camera. You might be able to fix the lens, but it's kind of a common problem. Okay, so that's the situation for a high end. You can also use snap, snap seed for the uh, SC2. The thing's a bit lighter. If you're going to take a virtual tour with the uh, SC2, the SC2 does not have a, a time shift plugin for it. So what are your options? So one option is you, you could hold it above your head and in that case, you know, you're kind of in the shot, but you're below it. That's probably not quite a professional looking shot. The other option is you hide behind a wall, you hide behind a pillar. So for every shot, you're running, out, you're running outside, you're most likely taking it with your mobile phone. Okay, if you don't want to connect your mobile phone to the SC2, your other option is you put this thing into self-timer mode, you press the shutter button, you run away, and it snaps the picture. Okay, but another option here that we're going to explain is okay, you don't want to run away. Uh, if you run away, you know, the, the camera might fall over, you, you lose the uh, SC2, right, because it breaks the lens. So we're going to use a similar technique. Um, you take one shot where you're on one side of the camera. I'm going to put it into self-timer mode here. The SC2 has a lower fourth button on the side of the camera. So you put it into self-timer mode and you take one shot. So my, my hand is not out of the picture, right? I, I took one shot that's an HDR. Because uh, I'm using self-timer, I don't have that big thumb or claw hand effect in the image. Uh, you you want to put it on a tripod like this where it has a very narrow base and you're there's nothing else in the image, right? This goes straight down if they turn the sphere on the other side. So I'm going to put self timer mode again. I'm going to walk to the other side of the camera. Okay, so it just took another HDR shot. So the HDR shot is better than a normal shot because it, it takes multiple shots of different exposures automatically and merges them together into a single image. So usually if you have light and dark areas in your room, the HDR will compensate for it. I've taken two shots of the same space, one on each side of the lens. I'm not going to use Snapseed to merge those images together into a single image. 